Crusader Kings 3 made waves in the PC world last year thanks to its universally acclaimed brand of gossipy gameplay and scandalous storytelling. And now the plot is about to thicken with a brand new console edition of the game hitting Xbox Game Pass on March 29th. Now that Xbox Series X and S gamers can get in on the action, here's just a handful of the reasons you need to check this one out on console. Now, longtime Crusader Kings fans might be a little skeptical of how well the CDs would translate to a gamepad. After all, it's a menu heavy strategy game which requires you to navigate a whole lot of information, spread across a lot of different places. The micro to the macro, the goings on inside your own family, to the trouble brewing on the other side of the continent. You need to stay on top of it all if you're going to stay on top of it all. With so much data to work through, it's easy to imagine that you could end up longing for a mouse and keyboard. But fortunately, Paradox Interactive have gone to the pains of rebuilding the whole control scheme with a gamepad in mind, allowing console players to rule with surgical precision. The trigger buttons allow you to pull up radial menus in a flash, with the left handling stuff specific to your character, allowing you to focus on issues related to their lifestyle and titles, while the right trigger lets you flip between the various map modes the game offers. There's then a command bar along the top with a bunch of other tabs which you can flick through using the triggers, making it easy for you to dive into bread and butter menus like the realm, military, council, core and intrigue ones. The right stick then allows you to quickly bounce between your maps and menus, ensuring that nothing in the world goes unnoticed by your watchful eye. And if you just can't face the thought of playing Crusader Kings without a cursor, holding the left stick will bring one up for you. Altogether, it's an elegant system which quickly makes playing Crusader Kings on a gamepad feel like something we've been doing since the Dark Ages. The Quick Access Bar is another super useful tool which Paradox have added to help console kings and queens keep tabs on everything. You'll find it at the bottom of the screen, and it essentially acts as a shortcut to all the stuff you currently have on the boil. From buildings that are currently under construction to plots that are underway, it ensures you'll never accidentally leave a job half finished. Because when the job in question involves poisoning the heir to the French throne, you really do need to see it through. Of course, there's still a lot of information to process and it's all pretty high stakes. Historically, kings who do badly in their performance review have a habit of ending up with their head on a basket. So you might find yourself becoming a tad stressed. While Paradox can't do much about that, they have made sure that your character's emotional state is always highly visible thanks to a newly designed stress meter. Rather than a little bar that steadily fills like in the PC version, here your character's portrait will slowly turn red as the pressure begins to get to them. It's the sort of little aesthetic changes that keeps things really legible when you're playing on a couch in front of your TV rather than hunched over a computer monitor. And if you manage to take action in time, it could just stop your current monarchy from completely losing their marbles and dying. Unlike many other historical strategy games, the real action in Crusader Kings 3 takes place well away from the battlefield. While other titles are likely to have you poring over maps and fine-tuning battle plans for hours, here you're likely to do more damage with a well-timed insult or by spreading an especially devious rumour. In fact, you might even find yourself wanting to ignore the combat side of things altogether and focus more on the interpersonal drama. It's just so much juicier. Cue the introduction of a brand new feature called Automated Warfare. Turn it on and let the AI take over while you get back to wooing scullery maids and talking trash about your rivals. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, but console gamers can have one less thing to worry about at least. Okay, so now that you've heard about the cunning new gamepad control scheme, the handy quick access bar, and the helpfully redesigned stress meter, you're starting to think, huh, maybe Crusader Kings on console isn't the heresy I thought it was. Perhaps we won't have to have anyone drawn and quartered after all. But lo, it actually gets much better than that, because the Xbox Series X and S might just be the perfect platform for Paradox's conniving strategy game. With its complex political machinations, Crusader Kings 3 can test the metal of an average PC, so it's great to have it on an Xbox console where you know it is guaranteed to run smoothly on no matter how wicked a web you weave. The Xbox Series X and S's solid state drives also allows you to leave the game hanging and quick resume while you hop over to a YouTube tutorial or open up your game guide in a web browser before jumping back into the action. It's all totally seamless, making for the ultimate strategy experience. 
Another great reason to check out Crusader Kings 3 on consoles is that it's going straight to Xbox Game Pass, meaning it won't cost you an extra penny if you're already a member. So if you're still a little skeptical about the transition after everything we've told you, then okay, little bit offended, I'm not going to lie, but go try it out for yourself and see how right we are. And of course, signing up to Xbox Game Pass will also get you access to a host of other amazing games with more huge day one releases, like a Plague Tale Requiem and Hellblade 2 lined up for the future. For all the latest on them, don't forget to stay tuned by hitting subscribe and ringing that bell. Best of all, Crusader Kings 3 is cloud compatible, so Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members can dive straight into it without downloading the game first. So whether you're trying to save space on your Xbox Series S or you're just super eager to start betraying people as soon as possible, the cloud is here to help. The Xbox Game Pass library also contains some pretty clear evidence that Paradox know what they're doing when it comes to console gaming. Boot it up and you'll find both console editions of their spacey strategizer Stellaris and the godfather of tactical mafia gaming Empire of Sin. A few rounds of either and you'll be totally convinced that these guys know their way around a gamepad. In a hilarious promo for the console version of the game, self-proclaimed Emperor T-Pain the Devout spread the Crusader Kings 3 gospel while founding his own religion based on witchcraft, hedonism and no-fault divorce. Which sounds pretty dope to be honest. And it perfectly illustrates what makes Crusader Kings 3 such a unique and enthralling game. You can craft a relatively realistic version of the past and throw a dash of your own personal chaos into it, just to see how things play out. Maybe you'll form a forward-thinking utopia. Maybe the Romans will sail over and kick your behind for sheer impudence. Who knows? But the important thing is that you should check out Crusader Kings 3 on Xbox Series X and S, either for the variety of sensible reasons we've just suggested to you, or simply because T-Pain told you to. Whatever works. Whether you're planning to form a theocracy dedicated to adultery and cannibalism, or you just really want to conquer Belgium, make sure your next great Crusader Kings 3 adventure takes place on an Xbox console. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more handy Xbox updates, which may or may not be co-signed by Rap Superstars. Bye!